hurt me, I did several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still, I'm better with than without you. So every year I'll check out one of the latest outlier earbuds from Creative and this year is no different. In 2020, I've checked out the Outlier Go and in 2021, the Outlier Air version 2 and this year we're checking out the new Outlier Pro. So the Outlier series of earbuds is really very good, solid earbuds, but the specs that Creative puts out is always very conservative, making sure that technology is well proven before putting it in their product. So this year, Creative is upping their game in terms of the specifications and I think this is quite the perfect ear but so let's take a look. The Outlier Pro is sent over to me by Creative for review and although these were sent over to me, I'll still be sharing with you my honest and unbiased opinion about them. And the Outlier series of earbuds not, are not exactly expensive earbuds but comes with specs that is seriously impressive. The Outlier Pro will retail for about 80 US dollars or about 350 Malaysia Ringgit but now you can get them for about 68 US dollars on their website or about 280 Malaysia Ringgit. So definitely check out the links below while it's still going for that price. So Creative did not change the outlook of the Outlier series and still comes with the same case and this time the colour mimics more of the Outlier Go. You'll still be getting that metal-like matte finish with the Creative branding at the top here and similar to all their earbuds, you're going to get a nice plastic protector at the bottom here to protect the bottom of your case but if you don't want this, you can just easily peel it off. So one thing I immediately noticed when picking up the Outlier Pro is that it's slightly heavier built compared to previous models which is a good thing in my books because it feels like a more premium product. So at one end here, you're going to see the Super X5 Ready logo and on the other side, you're going to get a Type-C charging port uh, as well as three LED indicators to tell you the battery level of the case as well as the left and right earbuds. So to access the earbuds, you're going to slide out the cradle and you'll be presented with the earbuds but the cradle this time does feel a little bit loose and not fixed firmly in the case so you can hear it and you can see it move quite a bit. Inside, you're going to see the biggest change in terms of design since the original Outlier Air. And if you look at them closely, you can see that this portion here uh, pretty much mimics the previous generation Outlier Air and V2. Pretty much still the same with that slight IEM contour to help it sit better inside your ears. Uh, and at the front here, you're going to get an all new glossy front uh, with a bit of an elongated shape at the bottom here, right? So this, these are not wing tips because it sits at the bottom of your uh, ears. So that's a little bit of an odd shape uh, compared to the mostly circular design of previous models. So what made the older model cool is always that circular light ring uh, that the Outlier Air series always have. But that is now missing with the Outlier Pro and instead you're going to get a simple small LED at the bottom of the earbuds which is quite a disappointment for me. So in terms of battery life, the Outlier Pro is still the strongest amongst its predecessor. The Outlier range always have crazy battery lives and the Outlier Pro just pushed it up a notch again. So without ANC, you're going to get about 15 hours of continuous playback with 45 additional hours with the case. And with ANC on, you're still going to get an insane 10 hours of battery with 30 additional hours with the case. So charging the earbuds and the case is quite fast at one hour and about two hours for the case. And another feature that the Outlier Pro has is also wireless charging. So you can conveniently charge them up with any Qi certified chargers. That's probably what makes the Outlier Pro slightly heavier. So in terms of playback volume, I get a decently comfortable volume at about 50% with ANC on, so it's not the loudest at lower volumes. However, it increases quite drastically at around 70%. These earbuds are really loud, and I think 80% and higher is not something I'll normally run them at uh, because they are really uncomfortably loud. So if you like your earbuds loud, then this will be perfect for you. And in terms of its feature, it's also decently good here, and it's the second time Creative ditched the Quark chipset of the Outlier range and the original Outlier Air, the Gold, the V2 all uses Qualcomm's chipset. Starting from the Outlier Air V3 and now the Outlier Pro, we're only getting a standard Bluetooth 5.2 chipset with only AAC and SBC codec. So no more AppDeck support on their later
latest earbud. So you're still getting the same water resistant rating uh, at IPX5 across the entire range. So you will be able to sweat on it and also use them under light rain and they should work just fine. So although without the Qualcomm chipset, you're still going to get that seamless left and right playback with these earbuds and putting either side in or out of the case will not pause the media, which is really cool. Finally, there is no multi-point connectivity on these earbuds. So the Outlier Pro is a properly developed ANC earbuds and with the test we've thrown at it, it did extremely well and it's one of the best ANC earbuds I've tested in 2022. So with the road noise test, the earbuds works really well at cutting most of the low humming noises. Using it in the car really feels like it erases all of the road noise, especially if your car already have pretty good soundproofing. For me, putting this on feels like I'm suddenly transported into a Rolls Royce. Human chatters are also nicely removed but you can still hear a small amount of them without music playing. With soft music playing, it does wipe out almost all of the noise. So for me, I'll say that it works really well in this department but still can be improved. And airplane cabin noise is very nicely cancelled out and I'm going to give it full marks here because it just cuts out so much of it that even soft jazz playing, everything just disappears. And lastly, ambient mode here is decent as well and it does amplify audio slightly. It doesn't just feel open but it's slightly open up to give you the ability to hear your surroundings which is really good. So overall, I'm going to rate the Outlier Pro to have an ANC performance of 8.8 .8 out of 10. So as to all Outlier range of earbuds, they all sound extremely good. And even till today, without that Qualcomm Aptex chipset, I don't see any degradation in terms of sound quality and they still sound really good. I guess this is really good example of proper audio tuning, especially from a company like Creative. For an in-ear earbuds, the Outlier Pro rocks a pretty big 10mm graphene coated driver, which is rarely seen in earbuds of this size but because of the larger earbud size this is achievable so the bass notes on these earbuds is punchy and clean they don't rumble but you can hear them clearly and they are very well reproduced not messy in any way the mids is also very good giving you a very forward sounding vocals without it feeling recess or hiding behind instruments combining that with low end performance the vocals of male artists are very nicely reproduced finally the highs on these earbuds is something i would like to tune to towards a slightly brighter tone. Out of the box, they don't sound extremely clean or bright. You can tune it in the Super X5 app, but it doesn't really affect EQ globally on your phone, but only affects songs played natively in the Super X5 app. So that's one point that I don't really like about the app. And again, like previous outlier reviews, I say that the app is pretty much a music player uh, for you to tune your audio with, not so much a global app for you to tune your earbuds itself. So if you tune the EQ in the Super X5 app, they really sound good and polished. Unfortunately, for my test, it doesn't apply to other apps like Spotify or Apple Music. So this is a test to see if the Creative Outlier Pro is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise going in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So there's no specific gaming mode on this earbuds and I think Creative built this to be an earbuds for music rather than gaming. So you will have a noticeable lag when gaming uh, playing when playing. So you will get a noticeable lag when playing games like PUBG, but they are not too bad. Still playable if you are using it for casual gaming and watching videos on YouTube and Netflix on this is very enjoyable with no noticeable syncing issues. Anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds.
So the Online Pro has an almost complete range of controls and everything you need can be controlled from the earbuds except for the track skip backwards option. So to play a pause media, tap twice on the right earbuds and it will play or pause your media. So tap double tap. So to increase the volume, tap and hold on the right earbuds and it will slowly increase the volume. And to decrease the volume, tap and hold on the left earbuds and it will decrease the volume. To skip tracks forwards, tap three times on the right earbuds. One, two, three, and it will skip your tracks forward. So triple tap and it will skip your tracks forward. So there's no way for you to skip your tracks backwards here. To call out your system, tap three times on the left earbud. So one, two, three, and it will pause your media and pull out your assistant. Finally, tap two times on the left earbud to toggle between normal mode, ambient mode, as well as ANC. So that's all of the controls you get with the Outlier Pro. So I think the Outlier Pro is quite the perfect ANC earbuds at this price point and honestly I don't think there is much to fault with these earbuds apart from not being able to skip backwards as well as the slightly flimsy uh, cradle here. So if I need to point some issues out, I would say that these earbuds are slightly on the larger side and if you have small ears, they may not fit you. And apart from that, I think these are the perfect pair of earbuds. So that is it for my review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.